Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. See ya. Well, I'm back. I had a mental break in both definitions, and I just found out today that all of the therapists that my doctor recommended do not take my insurance. So here's to not getting help. Not only that, I think I'm on my sixth consecutive day of dry shampoo. Some things I shouldn't share with the internet. This is one of them. I have been able to calm myself down the past couple of weeks by binge watching mystery shows. Those are my comfort watch. Lately, I have been hooked on Miss Fisher's murder mysteries. It takes place during post-World War I times, like around the 1920s. It's also set in Australia, of all places. It is very overtly vintage and it is super comfortable to watch. Even though it's not an Agatha Christie creation, surprisingly, pretty much just like watching any of her film adapted works like Murder, She Wrote, Poirot, and Father Brown. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's a new season of that out this year. I don't know what is going on with my frame rates, but sorry guys, it looks like my frame rates are really bad. So I, I don't really know how to fix that. So now that you guys are caught up with me, let's go ahead and recap. You know, a couple of weeks ago, I would have had to use this guy's picture, but now that he is no longer Captain America, I can replace his picture with Sam. That's right. Just as I predicted, John Walker has been stripped of the Captain America title after his caught on camera murder of one of the Flag Smashers, who by the way was a Captain America fan when he was younger. Wow, the ending of that episode was just Big Sis Junko approved. So after being disciplined by the government, he contacts Lamar's family or he talks. He sits down and has a talk with Lamar's family, trying to convince them that the guy he killed was the Flag Smasher that murdered Lamar, even though we all know it, was, it wasn't that guy. Even Lamar's sister was super sus of what this man was trying to tell her. Cut to a complete change of pace when Bucky turns Zemo over to the Dora Milaje, where afterwards Bucky decides to go over and help Sam fix up the family boat, also to deliver something that he got from Wakanda, which Sam does open at the end, but we don't get to see what the heck's inside because Marvel is a absolute tease. We also see Isaiah again in that episode, where he tries to convince Sam that no black man worth his salt would ever want to be Captain America, giving Sam an internal crisis of his own, trying to take on the mantle, but then later on realizing that Isaiah's life isn't his, and that he believes that he should continue fighting. Cut to later on when we see Sam training to a montage to be Captain America, along with Bucky having a heart-to-heart -heart talk, which is where we saw most of the trailer sequences from. Sam, being a better veterans counselor to Bucky than his therapist was, convinces Bucky that he's been going about his redemption arc all wrong. So I'm excited to see what happens next. Oh, sure. I thought that was Black Widow. Oh, nice one. Oh, yes. Loving the new look. Bucky, what's going on? Who are you? Captain America. Black Captain America was on the moon. No one's moving toward the building. That's what you get for trusting QAnon. Have you ever been able to say the same? You don't think I ever fought for something bigger than myself? That's all I ever tried to do. And I fell twice. Seriously, Bucky, you had one job. You worry about your guy. Oh. Well, that's one down. How'd you manage that? You don't want to know, dude. other things. Oh, nice. Au revoir. Since when are you speak a French? Mm -hmm. 
He really thought he could play chicken with Sam. Red Wing. See if anyone in there has flight training. Oh, he got Red Wing back. Oh wait. Are those wings vibranium now? Oh, he's back. Where did he get that shield? I didn't mean to kill your friend. I don't want to hurt people that don't matter. Oh, no, she you did not. Mars life mattered. Not to my fight. I just want the people on that truck. Three point landing. Nice. Nice one. Wait, what would happen if Sam were to ask Charles to help him with this? This is the greatest plan. Yeah, never mind. Oh no, oh no. Do something. This is not no time for you to have a breakdown, dude. Oh no, the music from Civil War. Ah, it's the real Captain America. Good thing he can fly now. Yes! As the Black Falcon <laughs> I tell you. Now, that's Captain America. How about both? Nice try. Oh, Triple shot. Oh, now it's the power broker here. Is that him? Gave you an opportunity. Then you betrayed me. Because you wanted to control a world that hurt you. But I wanted to change it. I'm not interested in power or an empire. I have bigger dreams. What, like this? She's the power broker? From me again. All of you, we can... Four times. Or... I don't do blackmail. Mercy bears richer fruit than strict justice. It's a great app. <laughs> nice one. Lincoln? Really? Great man. Great quote. Not when you say it. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Now they're going to think he did it. Captain America. What are we calling out? This is not about our captain's outfit. Typical paparazzi. Thank you so much from all of us. Sincerely, you did your part in dealing with those terrorists. Now we'll do ours. These labels, terrorist, refugee, thug. They're often used to get around the question why. Those settlements that happened five years ago, do you think it is fair for governments to have to support them? Yes. This isn't about easy decisions, Senator. You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. Even now, here, I feel it. The stares, the judgment, 
and there's nothing I can do to change it. Oh, they're watching. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. Who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions? Hmm? Is it the people you're going to impact? Or is it just more people like you? You've got to step up. Because if you don't, the next Carly will. And you don't want to see 2.0. People believed in her cause so much. Sorry, I was, uh, I was texting, and so all I heard <laughs> was uh, I'm a black guy in stars and stripes. <laughs> nice job, Cap. Thanks. Uh, Cap? I think he's talking to you. Yes, he is. Sorry for how things ended. One world, one people. Who is this guy? You are being transferred to a high security prison. There are no suspects in the box. Oh. That was his butler. Zemo did that. Looks like our friend Zemo kind of got the last laugh. Who is this bitch? Wow. We saw her in the last episode, but just momentarily. Oh, well, maybe I did. No, I'm kidding. I didn't. Or did I? Anyway. Quit playing games, woman. A lot of paperwork. It's the same. Yeah. But black. Yeah, oh. Well, yeah. Didn't notice that. The lighting. Weird. Oh no, is he gonna... Is he gonna talk to Mr. Nakajima? Is he gonna tell him everything? It's late. Come in before someone call the cops. <laughs> That's literally what happens to me any time I try to visit anybody in my neighborhood. Well, at least there's plenty of other gefilte fish in the sea. I heard the GRC was standing down on those plans of theirs, so... Thank God. Right. Yeah, I might fail. Shit, I might die. I can speak for the fandom when I say we're all rooting for you, Sam. For hey, why don't you clean up? There's, um... Something I want to show you. Yes! At last, Isaiah made it to the Smithsonian. Yes. Hey, Bucky's back! <laughs> As season finales go, that one was very satisfying. It's an absolute shame that Carly had to die, but to be honest, she had far too many death flags and she was, she was just too far gone. I did not see the other Flag Smasher deaths coming. Zemo apparently still has influence outside of the raft. So I was wrong. John Walker is definitely not going to be a villain. He's going to be a thorn in the hero's side, but he's certainly not going to be an absolute villain. He's just going to be one of these independent vigilantes that is kind of, you know, working against the heroes, sort of, but he's also trying to do their job at the same time. It, it's a little complicated. And Sam Wilson is our new Captain America. I am really eager to see how this plays out in future Avenger movies because we all know that there's more coming. So that was my reaction to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. If you guys have any other suggestions on what else you guys think I should react to for Fridays, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I do think that I will start making organ videos again soon. 
Probably not on a regular basis, but I'm definitely going to try to get back into music videos. At this point, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling. Because honestly, I'm not making any money doing this, and as soon as one of my applications gets approved for a job, these videos are going to pretty much all but stop. I mean, I may occasionally upload a video here, but it still is a fun thing to do while I'm waiting. I also just remembered I have these in my ears. Why? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up button like Meshugana. If you are new here and feel like sticking around, please do feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I upload... I can't promise anything at this point. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and for watching, and I will see you guys hopefully on Wednesday.